Hey everybody, welcome back to another What's For Dinner. This week I have two more summer slow cooker recipes to share with y'all. Once again, you can have these anytime this summertime, so let's call them that. Summer slow cooker dinners coming at you. But before we start, I wanna let y'all know that today's video is a collab with Sammy from Managing the Maze. On her channel, she shares lots of what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, day in the life videos. I know that y'all will love her, so definitely go check her out after you finish watching this video. I'm gonna have her video and her channel linked down below for y'all. All right, the first one we're gonna start with tonight is slow cooker Italian beef sandwiches. Good morning, everybody. I'm going ahead and getting supper in the slow cooker this morning. Some of the little kids are still asleep, so I'm talking soft. So tonight we're gonna be having slow cooker Italian beef sandwiches. So I have a chuck roast here, and I'm just heating up some oil over, I got a little over medium. As soon as that heats up, we're just gonna sear the roast on all sides. I'm gonna use Titus's uh, grilling tongs to pick this up, because they're stronger than the ones I have. Okay, so I sprayed the slow cooker. Now we put the roast in there, and we're gonna put in half of this carton, or you can use one can of beef broth. Now we need one cup of Coke. Okay, now we need a fourth of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. Three tablespoons of minced onion. So I'm just gonna eyeball this, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of oregano, and two teaspoons of parsley flakes. Okay, and now we need a third of a cup of juice from a jar of peppers. We're using these banana peppers. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of this and pour on top of the roast here so I can spread around the seasonings. Okay, that's it. Now we just cover this and you can cook it on high for four to six hours or low for eight to ten. Okay, y'all, many hours later, the roast is done. We're gonna make these french fries to go with it. While they're cooking, we're gonna shred up the roast. This is very hard, ah, very hard to get out because it's like completely falling apart when I just pick it up. That means it's gonna be good. Okay, that was easy, so now we're just gonna put it back in the slow cooker with the juices that are still in there. Okay, so now that'll just stay in there until the french fries are done. These were definitely a winner with everybody except the little kids. Jonah and Audra didn't love these, but I think it's because 
first of all they didn't want the peppers on theirs they didn't want the banana peppers on it and without the banana peppers being on it there's not as much flavor there the meat itself had a lot of flavor because of all the seasonings we put on there but yeah they just didn't love it but me and Titus and Jacob and Tyler we all really loved them so yeah the little kids didn't like that one but the majority of us did so we're gonna call it a win <laughs> on to the next one slow cooker lasagna Shh. it's a game of hide and seek with manly he has no idea where i am no idea whatsoever <laughs> 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 okay so it is now all right y'all so it is three o'clock in the afternoon i'm about to put some lasagna in the slow cooker it's a little bit of a mess in here the kids have been painting rocks this morning well it's not morning anymore but this morning they were painting rocks they're sitting there to dry <laughs> before i clean all that up i need to go ahead and get supper in the slow cooker so i don't think i've ever done slow cooker lasagna i think i've done instant pot lasagna and of course regular oven baked lasagna but i don't think i've ever done slow cooker so first we're going to cook the ground beef and the italian sausage i'm using a little bit more ground beef than this recipe calls for but like always i'll have the original recipe down below for y'all and we need to chop this onion and some garlic all of this is going to cook together and then we're going to drain it so both of the recipes i'm sharing this week you have to do a little bit of cooking on the stove top before you get them in the slow cooker but it's not terrible all right so we're putting in the italian sausage and the ground beef. I still have a little bit of this ground beef left, so I'm just going to stick it in the freezer. Garlic and onion going in. So yeah, now we just cook this until the ground beef and sausage is done, and then we will drain it. All right, y'all, there is a homemade sauce recipe that goes with this. When I found this slow cooker lasagna, I will have that down below for y'all. But I found two jars of this traditional pasta sauce. This is the kind from Aldi. It is really good. I found it in the back of my canned foods. I knew I thought I had some of this the other day. We're gonna use that. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour both of these in here. So I've got this turned down to simmer now and we're just gonna let this simmer while we get the cheese mixture ready and I need to go ahead and spray the slow cooker and get it ready. For the ricotta cheese mixture, we need one beaten egg. So we're gonna go ahead and put the egg in here first. Now we're gonna put in this whole 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. Now we're gonna put in some salt and pepper and parsley flakes. All right, there's that. Now we are ready to start layering it in the slow cooker. We're gonna start with putting some of the meat sauce in the bottom. Okay, so now we start putting the lasagna. I have this oven ready kind here. I actually ordered the great value oven ready, but they didn't have it and they substituted for this. So we don't want it to be really double layered. So I'm gonna have to break it some. It's okay if it's little pieces. Now we put some of the ricotta cheese mixture. Now more meat sauce and a layer of mozzarella cheese. Now we just repeat that two more times. I think we have enough of everything for two more times. Okay, so we are almost done. The last thing we're gonna do is just sprinkle some Parmesan over the top. And I still have some mozzarella cheese left over. We're gonna save that until there's only about 30 minutes left. And then we're gonna put that on top and let it melt right before we get ready to eat it. Just sprinkle on the Parmesan and that is it. We're gonna cover it. It's gonna cook on high for two hours. Let's see what we got. It's been about two and a half hours. Oh, y'all can't see nothing. Fog. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna turn it to keep warm. I wanna see if it cooked these noodles. Oh, yes it did. I believe we have a winner.
that is perfect. The lasagna noodles are perfect. They're not mushy, but I did cook mine on high for just two and a half hours. If you cook it on low for a long time, I don't know, they might get mushy. Right now, they're perfect. They're just right. It is so good. Y'all have to let us know if you've made slow cooker lasagna and cooked it on low for a longer time, did your lasagna noodles get mushy? A couple of people were asking about that, so let us know if you've done it that way how they are. This is perfect. It is so good. <laughs> okay, I gotta tell everybody else it's time to eat. Okay, y'all, this one, definitely a winner. Everybody in the family loved this one, even Manly. Look at him. You can see his love for it all over his face. Was that good? We just finished eating. Was it yummy? Oh, now his love for it is all over my face and hair. Is it wonderful? So, yes, this one, definitely a winner. The noodles were perfect, like I said earlier. Y'all let us know if you've cooked it for the longer time in the slow cooker, how the noodles turn out. And these were the oven-ready kind. So, let us know, too, if you've used any besides the oven-ready kind. He's a silly boy. Do y'all notice anything different about him? Anything different? He went outside. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to go check out Sammy's video. I'm going to have it and her channel linked down below. You want to go out there with them? Yeah, yeah outside. Here we go.